Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today we're going to cook us up some some beef and vegetable and uh, pasta soup here. And this this right here is just a little bit less than a pound of uh, short ribs that I got from Costco's. Now I'm going to, I've had this frozen. I'm going to put it in the uh, Ninja Foodi over here and cook it for a couple minutes and make sure all the little bones and stuff is out of it. We'll use these potatoes. Got four little carrots there. We'll use some celery. We'll use some uh, stewed tomatoes. We'll use uh, the sour sweet peas. Got me some Kirkland sweet corn here. My favorite Rotel tomatoes. That uh, tricolor rotini pasta. Of course, I gotta have a little beef broth to start everything off with. So let me get started here. Okay, now first thing we'll do is sort of peel these carrots. Get that all off there. Okay, now we'll do the potatoes the same way. Okay, now I got the potatoes and the uh, carrots peeled. I'm gonna put them in this bowl, this medium mixing bowl right here. I'm going to take them over to the sink and wash them off. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this mess up right here and get ready to dice up my carrots and potatoes after I wash them. I'll be back. Okay, now I've got everything washed off and cleaned up. I'll we'll take these carrots over here and of course we're going to cut the ends of them off. Okay, and then dice them up, you know, just like probably find in a bowl of soup somewhere. Make sure you hide your fingers from this knife when you do that. But if you don't, you might find you and get you. <laughs> right now we'll do the potatoes. Don't want too small pieces, but we don't want real big chunks either, you know. I mean, you know, about bite size. There we go. Now, getting close now. Okay now I have just a little bit over a cup of the Swanson's uh, beef broth here. Put down in the pot. We'll take these hunking frozen ribs I got here and put down in there. And now next I'm going to Take these veggies here on this flexible cutting board, these root vegetables, and drop them down in there. Now I'm going to uh, get out my handy dandy pressure lid and put on here and you know just line your arrows up like this. That just sit right down there as soon as I did it because I have my arrows lined up. Turn it clockwise so it stops. Turn your valve back here to seal. Make sure you turn it to seal, not vent. Okay, and then you come over here and you turn on the power. And you turn your dial over here to where it says pressure. And then on your time over here, you hit your little time button right here and it'll start flashing off and on. And then we'll go, that's exactly where I want it to be, those 10 minutes. So I'm going to go hit the start button. And there it goes. Now as you know, well, you might not know if you're not familiar with the Ninja Foodi Deluxe here. It takes a, it's going to take about seven, eight minutes for it to build up enough pressure to seal it. And until then, these little lots will chase each other around, you know. So we'll be back and keep an eye on it in a minute. Okay, now it's been almost eight minutes since I hit that start button there. And you see that little silver button there trying to pop up. 
Now I got faith it will pop up in just a second or two. <laughs> and there it went. So now let's look at the front of this thing here. These lights are still chasing each other up and down a little bit. Okay, it usually doesn't take long, probably take about a minute, minute and a half for that to for that to go ahead and click in there. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, it didn't take it about 45 seconds and it started counting down there. So now everything's going good and it'll be about 9 minutes and 40 seconds and we'll take that top off and take those ribs out and see what we've got. Okay, now we're down to about 15 seconds left on this uh, 10 minute cook here on this uh, beef and potatoes and carrots and fixing to open this lid and see what we got and start adding some good stuff to it. Although the way that beef smells, that's beef smelling good already. Alright, now I'm just going to go back here and hit the uh, relief valve. I'm not going to let it, I mean vent, and I'm not going to let it uh, suck our rest in because it's got some more cooking to do to it. So we're going to let it go until it stops and then we're going to take the lid off. Okay, now the pressure's been going off of it for two, two and a half minutes now from the time I hit the vent over here, so it should be ready to drop pretty quick. And there it went down now. Let's back up a little bit because I don't want to steam up the camera. Back, 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 back. Alright, now we're going to turn the lid counterclockwise. I'm going to turn the pot a little bit first so I can get handle it better. Turn the lid counterclockwise. Pick it straight up and turn away from your face. Like that. Come over here and set it in the sink. And now, I'll show you real quick what's down here. Now, you see all that beef there? Where's my... What do I do with my tongs here? See? And that's exactly what I want right there. Now I'm going to take all this out and put it on a plate and get all these little bones out of it like this. Because you don't want to be sitting there trying to eat and you have a bone to pick out and something like that. So, I'm going to get started doing that. Okay, now I'm going to start cutting this up because I don't want it to be all in there in one piece like that. So. Cut it up any way you want it, you know, so you have some good bite-sized pieces here. Now some people like to make this with ground beef, but I'd rather make it where you, you've got some, some little bite, you know, bite-sized pieces of uh, beef, you know. I mean, I know you can clump it up where it's where you about got bite-sized pieces with ground beef too, but this is just solid steak here, you know. <laughs> beef ribs. I tasted that a while ago too, and I pulled out one of those little bones that had a little meat left on it, and I tasted of it, and I almost wish I hadn't have done that, because now I want to eat it. <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> Uh, now, the next thing I'm going to do is put that right back in the pot. And if you're wondering, uh, I didn't take any of those juices out of there. And those potatoes and carrots are still down in there. They're just as tender as they can be. And I'm going to put the celery down in there. I don't want to board all the time. Okay, now we'll turn the power on. I'm going to put it over here on sear and saute. And we'll leave it on high. And we'll hit the start button. Okay, now we'll start putting the rest of my canned veggies in here. Like the corn. And the sewer peas. I'll 
start out using diced tomatoes, but I noticed, I mean, stewed tomatoes, but I noticed they was out of date, so I've got these uh, diced tomatoes here from Kirkland. I'm going to put in there. And now for the Rotel tomatoes and uh, chili, uh, green chilies here. Boy, this is going to be so good. Can't wait. Okay, I was getting ready to stir it up, but I think I'll add some pepper and salt to it. You know, now you do this to your taste, you know. And keep in mind, those chilies down there have uh, peppers on them. And you know, all that canned stuff has sodium in it, so. Now let's mix it all up together. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Let's see if you can see down in this pot over here. What it looks like. Oh boy, isn't that looking good? I'll let it start heating up and it's even going to look better. You ought to smell this stuff. Okay, now it's starting to simmer just a little bit, but I want it to come to a roll. I put this lid on there and I forgot to show you, so I took it back off so, so I could show you. So, okay, so now I'm going to put this lid on there and that's going to help it come to a, a good rolling boil here. And that's what I want before I dump in my really uh, tricolor rotini here so won't take long for that now okay now just like with any other lid that's got pressure or steam under it when you pick it up pick it up and let it drain a little bit and turn it away from your face you know and then carry it over to your sink or wherever you've got a place to set it down at and set it down Okay, now I'm going to give this a quick stir because this is rolling really good now. I'm going to take this tricolor pasta here and dump it in there. Now this is a uh, 12 ounce box. Now let's see if I can get that all pushed down in there real good. I'm going to put the lid back on it. I was in the house doing something a while ago and I, I live in central Florida and I thought, gee, it's cold outside today. It was in, it was in uh, the low 40s last night tonight. It's going to get down to the low 30s. It's almost going to be freezing. And so I said, this will be a good soup day. So I decided to come here and start fixing on this. Now I finish this, I'll go outside and cover up my plants so everything don't freeze to death. <laughs> okay, now keep in mind I didn't add any liquid to this except for that uh, about a cup and a half of beef broth when it first started and then the, uh, just the liquid that was in the cans of uh, vegetables open up. I added n no more water. Now if you wanted yours real soupy or real liquidy, I guess you could say whatever you want to call it. You add more water to it, but there's no use in, I don't like it, but so thick, you know, I mean, so thin. So, that's all the water I added. And while I got a chance, if y'all can join our channel and give us a thumbs up, we sure appreciate it. Thank you very much for all you people that watches our videos. It means a lot to us, and thank you very much. Let's look and see what it looks like. Oh, boy, I'm boiling away. And I know those noodles ain't ready, but I'm going to look at one. Let's see here. Oh, jeez, this is going to be good, good, good. 
No, the noodle was nowhere near done yet. I'll give it another five or six minutes. Alright, now these noodles are just as tender as they can be. So I'm going to turn this thing off. I'll slow down a little bit because they're going to keep on cooking. I'm going to get them out of this pot. I'm going to get me a bowl right here that I can sample. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that looks good, good. Ouch, bottom of that bowl is still hot. Now that not look good. Those noodles are just as tender as they can be. Mmm. I have a piece of that short ribs we cooked. Okay, now there it is. That's about it for this little uh, video here. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. I hope you come back and see more of them real soon. And this is another great one pot meal that you know you just sort of dump stuff in there and stir it up and keep on keeping an eye on it. And so until it's done, it's good for the whole family. I'm sure you. Especially kids like this tricolor rotiti here. So next time, y'all have a real good and safe day, and come back and see us as soon as you can. And if you can, give us a thumbs up and join our channel. A thumbs up. <laughs> so till next time, goodbye now.